Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here with Alternative Brewing, and today we're gonna to be checking out the Dripster Cold Brew Coffee Maker. This slow drip method takes far less time than the more common immersion method, only about two to three hours in total, but still produces a rich and vibrant cold brew flavor. Thanks to that adjustable dripper valve, where you have complete control over the drip rate of your water, which means then that you can customize your technique at any time to either shorten or extend the overall brew time. Now, you can shop the Dripster Cold Brewer from this link up above. Let's put on a batch of cold brew coffee now though and see how the Dripster can keep you supplied with a delicious and bitter-free caffeine fix. So to get started brewing, we have the three parts to the Dripster. You have your glass carafe underneath, the filter basket in the middle with a reusable stainless steel mesh filter, and that water tank up top with the adjustable dripper valve underneath and we'll be using 45 grams of ground coffee to 600 mils of water. Now, you can substitute half your water with ice, which can be good to keep the water cool over that full time period. But without it, I haven't really noticed any significant differences in the flavor of your brew. And we're gonna grind our beans to a medium grind. Too fine and it will make a mess on your bench, and too coarse and you'll find your coffee may be too weak. Now add your coffee into the basket, and if you have one available, now is the time to place a paper filter on top of the grounds. Now you can find either a Dripster reusable metal filter or a 100 pack of paper filters from the link up above, and used correctly, they will help disperse the water across and into that bed of coffee, ensuring that there are no dry patches of grounds at the end of the brew. And an extra measure to assist with this is pouring a little bit of water onto the grounds to start with, and that's with or without that top filter on there. And with that done, fill up that top water chamber with the 600 mils of water, place the lid on, and now we're going to adjust that drip rate to around one drip a second. And this will ensure a steady brew time where it will finish around the three hour mark. And once it's started, you can walk away and let it slowly drip on out. Now most brewers of this style are large and expensive towers that aren't really well suited for the home use. The Dripster however has that slim body and a compact design that makes it perfect for your bench in the kitchen, yet it's still large enough to make several servings of iced coffee at a time. I'd say it's important to note here that that drip rate will slow down slightly as the water in the water tank decreases. So it's not a terrible idea to have it dripping a little bit faster than one drip a second at the start if you want to avoid too slow a brew time or have it stopping altogether. So once finished dripping, remove the top and you can be enjoying this coffee straight away. Drink it over some ice, add it to some milk, and absolutely place this in the fridge for up to two weeks, and it's gonna be a great way to enjoy a quick coffee at your own convenience. And cleaning the Dripster is super simple. Just knock out those grounds, and then a gentle wash of the containers and the carafe. Make sure you give that mesh filter a good clean with the rinse under some hot water to remove any oil buildup before drying everything and then placing it back together for next time. And that's the Dripster Cold Brew Coffee Maker for you. Now, it's appropriately named for making delicious drip brewed coffee. And it's a great addition to be enjoying a classic ice latte or an espresso martini in the comfort of your own home. So if you have any questions on the Dripster Cold Brew Maker, then throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Time.